Hey everyone, I'm Dan from jazzcomposerspresent.com, an online space where composers, musicians, and listeners come together to celebrate the music we love. I'm joined today by Ronnie P. Schmolze, drummer, composer, arranger, conductor, and teacher of jazz composition and arranging at Gustav Mahler Private University for Music in Klagenfurt, Austria. Ronnie is here to show us how to use metric modulation to add interest and creativity to your compositions. Thanks, Dan. I'm so excited to be back and presenting today's mini lesson, a short insight on metric modulation and polyrhythm. In contemporary jazz music, but not only jazz, of course, metric modulation is a very often used tool. Today, I'm talking about using concepts in jazz orchestra or in large ensemble context. I'm sure as a player or arranger composer, you might have used metric modulations already. The simplest concept may be just changes in time signature across an unchanging tempo. So for example, just switching between a 4-4 meter to a 5-4 meter, tempo stays. Another very often used metric modulation is shifting from a certain tempo to double time or half time. I'd like to share a chart on first slide on which most common symbols concerning double time and half time are summarized. You may add those symbols on top of the bar line to tell the player, now we are changing to double time or half time. Depending on the tempo and meter situation or the style of the tune, I found out that those symbols work best. Another example would be the modulation from eight note triplets to eight notes, as you can see on following slide. So one eight note triplet out of three has same value as one eight note. Let me demonstrate one bar count off. One, two, three, four. 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 So you may explore the many, many other possibilities modulating from group of beats to another group of beats for yourself and will find some very, very interesting situations. Before we move on to the next examples, let's check the definition of the term polyrhythm on the next slide. Polyrhythm refers to two or more rhythm played against each other at the same time. The downbeats of polyrhythms coincide with one another. Very often used polyrhythms are, for example, two over three or three over four or three over two, but I'll demonstrate in a minute. Let's move on to the term modulation. Of course, we all know it in context of harmony, which is a prepared transition from one key to another. For our purpose, we now take a prepared rhythmical transition and therefore use polyrhythm. In order to modulate from one meter or tempo to another smoothly, we apply polyrhythms as pivot points. On the already shown slide, we summarize the concept of metric modulation in words. It's a rhythmic technique which smooths out tempo and or meter changes by introducing certain subdivisions or group of beats of the first tempo that match certain subdivisions or group of beats of the upcoming tempo. In other words, the two tempos always have rhythmical relationship to each other. So let's check out what happens if we take, for example, quarter note triplets modulating to quarter notes. Let's have a look on the next slide. Thank you. First save. There you see quarter note triplets of the original tempo in 4-4 meter modulating to quarter notes in the following bar. On this example, our polyrhythmic pivot point is 3 over 2. Let me demonstrate. I'll repeat each bar. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Voila. New tempo in 3-4. So let's try to keep this tempo in mind. As indicated on the second stave, to get back to the original tempo, you need to take the dotted quarter notes of the memorized tempo over 3-4 meter. Polyrhythmic pivot point is 2 over 3. So our memorized tempo was like this. 1, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3. 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And here we are, back home to the original tempo. Or another example, what happens if we take 
the half note triplets as new quarter notes. Let's check out on the next slide. Half note triplets are modulating to quarter notes by using polyrhythmic pivot point three over four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. To get back home to the original tempo, we use dotted eight notes of the memorized tempo over three four meter, modulating to quarter notes. Polyrhythmic pivot point is four over three. So our tempo was something like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Voila, back to the original tempo. So, as you might observe, pretty every subdivision or group of beats of the first meter or tempo can be certain subdivisions of the upcoming meter or tempo. Of course, there's a lot more stuff to explore than I presented. But before we use this concept in jazz orchestra or large ensemble context, there are a few very, very important things to consider for arrangers and composers. First of all, Metric modulation has always to serve the music and it has to make sense in all musical aspects, of course. And secondly, if we use this technique, we need to be aware of whom we are writing for. I personally would only use it for professional bands or at least good semi-professional bands. Make sure that everybody in the band is familiar with the modulation concept. If you want to check out some metric modulations in jazz orchestra context, please listen to the great album Artistry in Rhythm of the Vienna Art Orchestra. This live album is a throughout composed 15 part suite using a lot of different metric modulations in a very musical way. In the booklet, you may also study some of the metric modulations, which were used by leader and composer Matthias Rueck. So, in the end, I'd like to present a short snippet of a jazz orchestra composition of mine, which is called Narcotic and Kotrek on my CD, Miraculous Loss of Signal. There, I used a metric modulation to get from a pretty slow tempo of the theme to the solo section, which is medium up tempo. Polyrhythmic pivot point is 4 over 3, which I already explained to you. I took this metric modulation concept three times in a row to finally catch the tempo which I wanted to have as a basis for the solo section. So thanks a lot for watching today's mini lesson. Have fun listening to the excerpt of Narcotic in Kotrek and enjoy exploring the huge world of metric modulations and polyrhythms. Watching today's mini lesson. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Drop any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos down below. To watch our full length events and participate in live QAs with our presenting artists, head to jazzcomposerspresent.com. Thanks, and we'll see you next time. Yeah.